and gentlemen, and welcome to the pavilion stage. Yeah, for the 57th. I don't know how many of you have been here for how many of them, but we've been here for quite a few of them. Uh, just a moment, because you see the banner behind me. A lot of us, not only were we friends with, but really appreciate and miss Mr. Frank Javorsek. Yeah. Right. Wonderful guy. Listen, uh, we've got some great entertainment for you this afternoon. Uh, and we're going to start off the uh, cowboy music and cowboy poetry section. Please welcome Mr. Tom Sauber. All righty, not all of us got the uh, cowboy attire memo, yeah. but... Uh, <laughs> I'm partly, partly cowboyed up. This is John Corzine on my left, and uh, Miss Aaron Schneider, kind enough to uh, play some wonderful accordion musician. I've known John since he was uh, about like that, and he and he whipped me in a, not the Topanga contest, but another contest, and, and we still, it took me a long time to get over that, but we we are good friends now. And uh, Aaron, I've only known the last, uh, I don't know, five, four, five, six years, and uh, one of the finest uh, musicians playing uh, in Los Angeles here these days. But we'll do a couple tunes, uh, some tunes that I learned from uh, fiddlers who lived out here. Uh, most of them lived out here in the L.A. area and came from parts east of the plains. Uh, kind of maybe as that monitor, maybe the monitor doesn't need to be quite so uh, hot. Maybe we could just turn the monitors down. It's getting a little feedback up here. I don't know if you guys can hear that. See where the sound man is? Uh, I don't. I don't is that the... He's on it. Check, check, oh. check. That sounds better. Oop, it's still in there somewhere. Yeah, we don't need a lot of feedback. In fact, the less we hear of ourselves, oftentimes the better. <laughs> but uh, I learned this one from a fiddler named Earl Collins. He lived down in Downey. And uh, he played it. Uh, I saw first time I saw him was at uh, <clears throat> this uh, contest in probably 1967 or eight, wow. when it was still uh, at Camp Wildwood in the uh, Topanga Canyon. Anybody been to Camp Wildwood? It was a wonderful, wonderful place. It would hold about this many people, <laughs> and you'd all be able to fit under the shade on the hillside. Uh, or down into the creek. But anyway, I saw Earl Collins play there in uh, 67 or so, and it changed my life. So I learned this tune from him. Uh, it's called Bullet the Wagon.
Every now and then I try to get the uh, bowl sound <laughs> going. Uh, my fiddle sounds a little high-endy, kind of shrill when it gets up on the treble strings from here. I don't know how it sounds to you guys, if you like that, uh, if you're big fans of uh, Papa John's Screech or not. But, uh, but anyway, so he learned, Earl learned this, learned that tune from uh, uh, an old 78 recording that he had when he was a, a kid growing up in, in uh, Shawnee, Oklahoma. And the record was by a, a couple of brothers who were from West Texas, way, way at the West End. Uh, they probably might have uh, been closer to Roswell than anything, uh, any Texas town. But they were the Lewis brothers, Dempson and Denman. Uh, and they played that one. And there's still a couple of Lewis brothers playing music uh, pretty recently. They're, I think, uh, either grandsons or grandnephews of uh, the old ones. And they're, they're also uh, ranchers out in East New Mexico or West Texas. So I'll play a tune that I uh, learned from them. It's a, uh, a version of a, well, there's a lot of names for it, but they called it Wild Horse. It's a three-parter. Like I say, I met John, uh, didn't really get to know him until he was uh, kind of uh, reached his full height. But I uh, met him when he was about 10, I guess. And uh, like I say, he, he was a great little flat picker at the time and banjo picker. And I, don't even tell me if you played fiddle then, John, or not. I don't, I don't want to know. Um, 
But since then, in about the 1980s, we started playing together, he and his wife Peggy, and played in a band called the Coyote Brothers. We had a, had a lot of fun and made a lot of music uh, round about and played down at Disneyland and things like that. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, John plays uh, in a band called the Blade Runners with my son Patrick. So Woo! if you ever get a chance to hear those guys, uh, try, try to make it if you can. So anyway, uh, we'll do this wonderful tune I've played with you, I don't know how many times, a lot of times. Uh, should we tell Richard's story about the, uh, the uh, club owner named Walt, uh, Walt Trevor uh -huh. who was cremated? <laughs> sure. Uh -huh. Well, we had a friend who, uh, his name was uh, Walt uh, Drayton. He owned a, a big uh, dance club in, in, in uh, Fort Worth. And when he passed away, he had a request that his uh, ashes be uh, a friend of his would take his ashes up in a small private plane and and scatter them from from the in the in the wind. So, and that's what this song is about. It's called "Waltz Across Texas." <laughs> My world's in disguise It's a fairy land tale that's come true And when you look at me With those stars in your eyes I could waltz across Texas with you Waltz across Texas with you in my arms Waltz across Texas with you Like a storybook ending I'm lost in your charms And I could waltz across Texas with you My worries and heartaches, they're all up and gone. The moment that you come in view. And with your hand in my hand, I could dance on and on. And I could waltz across Texas with you. Waltz across Texas with you. In my arms, waltz across Texas with you, like a storybook ending. I'm lost in your charms, and I could waltz across Texas with you. Texas with you Like a storybook ending I'm lost in your charms And I could waltz across Texas with you I could waltz across Texas with you Well, I mentioned Earl Collins, and because he was, like I say, seeing him and, and playing music with him, and we actually did recorded an LP back in 19, 
74, I guess it was. That, uh, so his, his music's with me, been with me for a long time. And he had a great, he learned from his dad and, and uh, had, came from a whole family of fiddlers. There were six boys and they all played fiddle, but he and his younger brother Max were the, were the great hoedown fiddlers. <clears throat> And if you happen to, I think this, there's a book that was published in 1967, I think, called The Fiddle Book, by, written by uh, Marion Thede, T-H-E-D-E, and I think it's uh, still uh, in publication. And it's got, a, oh, I don't know, 30 or m more tunes that come from the Collins family and that she transcribed when she was a school teacher in Oklahoma. Does that sound like it? And uh, you can see pictures of uh, Max Collins and, and their dad, Willie Collins. So if you get those guys off by themselves where they didn't have to be on stage putting on a, a big Las Vegas type show like we're doing right now, you could get them to uh, go into these old time fiddle tunings, that open tunings. They take a little time. Sound a little flat. Does that sound flat, Lester? <laughs> anyway, this one's uh, it's missing a beat or so in the uh, first part. No, it's called White Creek. <laughs> We tried, uh, I, I was, we were getting together uh, just a few minutes ago uh, over uh, on the porch, one of the porches over there, and trying to remember, figure out what tunes to play when we got here, and I thought I'd say, well, let's uh, try uh, Railroad Runs Through Georgia, because that's one of the ones that uh, comes from the Collins family. And I, 
thought I was going to play it, but ended up playing another one instead because I couldn't remember how it went. That's the one. So we'll try it. We'll try this time. Uh, railroad runs through Georgia. As they say, a legend in my own mind. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. There's many places you could be right now, so thanks for being here. But this is what Earl Collins did. And I like it because it's, just, a, it's a show, just as showy as we can get.
And we want to thank uh, Mike for asking uh, that we come down here. And I want to thank John Corzine and Aaron Schneider for really great music. I don't get a chance. Uh, it's hard for me to play these days a little bit sometimes. But uh, when I play with these guys, these guys really uh, can carry you right along. But this one's called Grigsby's Hornpipe. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tom Sauber, John Corazine, Aaron two ends to the middle. <laughs>